Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Alicia, and I'm coming to you guys with a video today. It's about these killings that's going on right now, and this is more of a serious topic for me, so if it seems like something you want to watch, then let's just get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, we have this guy. His name is Alton, and he's been killed for standing outside and selling CDs and being harassed by police officers. And I just feel like... Why is this guy being shot and killed when it's two officers holding him down and keeping him from doing anything? Like, it was nothing that this guy could have did to y'all. This is on live TV. It's footage everywhere. His son is seeing this. Like, his family can't even live after this. I know what it's like to lose my father. So, for me, this situation is just, like, way out of hand. And I'm trying to understand what the judicial system is going to do about this because this is not like it's the first situation with a black person and a white police officer. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a clip from this video. <laughs> The cop screams, fuck. Yeah, because it was at that very moment that you knew you fucked up. Like, why would you kill this man? He he didn't do nothing to you. He wasn't doing nothing to nobody. It just don't make no sense. Somebody's going to have to be held accountable for this. So, that's not even just the only situation. So, we thought everything was not okay, but that was just that situation. And that, that was something that we had to all face in the black community. And I think as a human, period, if you care about the human race, and then we see about this other guy. And you can see it here. Cop kills driver, girlfriend, Facebook Live streams his last moments. That's the guy you see there and his girlfriend. Not even 24 hours after Alton Sterling was murdered, Philando Castell shot to death while reaching for his wallet in his car next to his girlfriend with a child in the car. He was licensed to carry a firearm. He told the cop that he was licensed to carry. The cop asked him to reach for his wallet and you shot him four times? I just don't understand the logic in this. Like, where, when, when has this become okay to just kill us? Is it because... You're, is it, it's because it's a racism thing. I know there is a racism thing here, but is this situation particularly just a racism thing or is it a cop and you're, and you fear black people? Like, it just don't make no sense to me. Like this census killing has to stop. I have a lot of friends that are white and this doesn't go out to people that's not racist, but there is a lot of people that's racist. And it is true that a lot of white people think they're superior to black people. So we have a conversation here. My whole thing is what is going, what is it going to take for it to be solved? We, we've had people, Sandra killed in the past. I can name plenty of other people, but there was no conviction. We had videos, we had evidence. There still was no conviction. If that shit would have been vice versa, if it would have been a black person doing something to a white person, that person, that black person would have got killed immediately. Like that person would have been in jail or got the electrical chair or something. It would have been even no discussion in court. That black person would have been ripped to shreds in front of everybody. At the end of the day, what I want from this situation more than anything is equality. I want black lives to matter. I want for all of us to be looked at as one. I don't want when it comes to the judicial system for you to treat somebody one way just because of the color of their skin. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like this killing has to stop. I, I have black sons. Like I have black uncles. I have black brothers. Like it's, it's getting to the point where people are starting to have fear for their own family's sake. Like I'm black and there's been black women being killed by police officers too. So who's to say that I won't be next? It's by the grace of God that me, myself personally, and I know a lot of other people can say that they haven't been a victim of this. But it's real and it's not a joke and something needs to be done about it. Like, 
you guys tell me what you think should be done because at this point i don't even know if marching and doing all this stuff is even going to matter because it's just like right in front of live tv all over social media and nothing is being done about this now this guy he's a radio host i want you guys to listen in on this interview he's talking to a police officer officer yourself it looks bad no you know i i will tell you that it's, um... Well, can you say the words, it looks bad? <laughs> I have to say this. This is the problem I have with police officers, and no disrespect to you. Y'all don't ever want to point at someone else and say, you can't do your job well. I can tell you right now, if I heard a radio personality get on the air and do something irresponsible, I'd go, that's a bad radio personality. Yes. He does a bad job. Yes. Police officers never want to say, right. y'all do a bad job. So if that's the reason the public thinks all of you are bad, because you won't ever call someone out and say they murdered someone in cold blood it happened again and until you guys start taking responsibility yeah. for your own people in the street are going to be upset instead so how about y'all lead the movement instead how about instead of people rioting police officers get out in front of it themselves right you guys are the first ones on the front lines that's what should happen instead of you struggling to say well i don't know it could be they murdered that man Absolutely. They murdered that man. He's right. You know what I'm saying? It don't, And it goes way beyond racism. Why don't you, as a police officer, get out there and put yourself on the line? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's just common sense. You treat people the way you want to be treated. You don't treat them no differently. And you don't judge nobody. Only God can judge us. I'm just saying, like, we got to get to the point where black lives matter. Like, there should be no difference between any race. Like, we're all human beings and we're all trying to make a way. And there is, honestly, a difference between being black in America and being white in America. It really is a difference. And being white is more of a privilege. Like, it's the truth. And it's just, this is sad to see. I just don't understand why you guys can't see the pain in this shit like people crying people families is involved people kids losing parents like y'all sat there and arrested this woman after y'all killed her boyfriend in front of her child y'all didn't even let her coddle her child and talk to her child her child is screaming she's hollering and screaming in the background this this has got to stop it just don't make no sense like black lives do matter we are not a downgrade we are not beneath y'all and we are not dirt as you guys were told and taught from back in the day this go way back to the slave days like and we still living in slavery all of that is still existing this is just modern day slavery so it's just like, what is it now? We got to get out here. We got to walk. We got to sign these positions. We got to petitions. We got to do rallies. Like, what is it? But it's like you get mad when blacks get mad and they want to start killing and doing stuff like that. I don't encourage that. But at the end of the day, it's, it's coming to the point where it's people starting to feel like they have no choice. Like, it's, it's gotten way out of hand. And people are starting to feel like there's nothing else to do but retaliate. So, of course, that's what they want black people to do. They want us to get in groups and they want us to retaliate so they can kill us by the masses. Now they're not just killing one or two of us. They're killing us in groups now. Like, so it don't make sense to handle it that way. And that's why Martin Luther King did it the non-violent way. But it's got to get to the point where all lives matter. Like, all humans matter. And as a white cop, you don't look at black people as beneath you or automatically judge them as dangerous and i know it's true because i've dealt with racist situations i've i've been in white schools and been treated badly i've been in numerous situations where it seems like it's a race thing i've worked in white nursing homes and been called niggers i've dealt with cops pulling me over and treating me differently and automatically coming up to the car with the attitude assuming that just because i'm a black person that i'm gonna have an attitude and once they see okay she's calm she's not this ratchet crazy black girl it seems like it humbles them and they calm down like it should never have to be their situation cops and the law was put in a place to protect us but we don't feel protected ask any black person how they feel when they get pulled over the first thing we think is all oh, shit here we go again because you already know it's not going to end good it's going to be a situation where you're judged you're nine times out of ten beaten or fucking killed and this shouldn't even be okay at all
Like, where's the logic in it? So, you're not perfect and I'm not perfect. So at the end of the day, I don't want this to be a long, drawn on thing. I'm just hoping that something comes from this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and just let me know what needs to be done differently. What can we do? Like, am I wrong for feeling like black lives don't matter at this point because this is the way y'all are treating us? Like, it's just so sad to me and I really just, I'm just, and I'm heartbroken, I'm in disbelief and like, I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't sit here and speak up because I've experienced it myself, certain situations, just being a minority. We're not minorities. We're capable of doing everything you can do. We're very smart, we're very strong. We're not dumb and we're not dirt and we're not trash and we deserve to live the same lives that you guys are living. It's hard enough out here in the world to try to make an honest living. Now you wanna make it even harder for us because of the color of our skin? What the fuck? We can't be, we can't, like what can we do? You want us to start bleaching our skin? It become that bad to the point where you do have people in certain countries bleaching their skin. I will never bleach my skin. I love being black and African American and I love human beings. I stand up for all human beings, not just for black folks. I believe in human rights so you guys really need to take a look at what's going on in the world and decide with you as a person what are your belief system what are your morals how was you raised because sometimes it's born within these people so at the end of the day change starts with yourself take a look at yourself and if everybody can admit that killing someone that's not that killing someone period is not okay but definitely killing someone that's not doing any harm to anyone is unacceptable it's not cool i love you guys thanks for watching this video i'm ending it here i'm done have a good day y'all